Hello there everyone, I'm UXW Bill, and today I'd like to share with you a little tip that might prevent your blood pressure from reaching excessive levels when you're dealing with the inevitable strand of Christmas lights that won't illuminate when you plug them in, despite the fact that they've been doing nothing for the past year or thereabouts. I'm actually working on diagnosing a little Christmas star for a friend of mine right now, and I started out using a multimeter to make simple resistance tests across each bulb, but that turned out to be a very fiddly thing to do, and sometimes it felt like it would be very advantageous to have ten hands. Of course, no human being that I'm aware of actually has ten hands to bring to the table. So I hit upon another idea, and while I would never claim to be the person who invented this, it dawned on me with all of those 9-volt batteries sitting back there that there was another test I could perform. I could simply unfurl the little wire legs at the bottom of each one of these bulbs, and if they were any good, I could place them across the 9-volt battery, and they would illuminate. Now, if you should do the same, you probably don't want to make that test for too very long. Some of these bulbs are higher voltage than others, and if they are a particularly low voltage type or an LED, they probably will not appreciate being stuck across the terminals of a 9 volt battery for too terribly long. This will also only work for these little light bulbs that are part of series strung Christmas lamp sets. If you have some of the older C7 bulbs that have been wired in parallel and thus see the full 120 volts AC, or 220 if that's the part of the world in which you live, this test will not serve to illuminate those bulbs. Of course, those are much bigger, they're easier to test, so it's really not a problem. I thought I would share that with all of you. I hope it makes your holiday season a little bit better, and as always, I am certainly interested in hearing your constructive commentary. So thank you for watching, and certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you happen to have one.